Hey y'all, it's Anime Cayman, and today I'm going to be reviewing episode 88 of Gekage no Gitaro. And I gotta say, this episode was great. And let me explain why. Because, for one, from a story standpoint, it was a game because any sequence of all in Rolo Cloth was hilarious. And aside from that, any sequence involving Gitaro, Catching, pretty much every sequence bounced. It was hilarious. It was funny. And it was actually quite enjoyable. So that's how I felt from a story standpoint. It was nice because even though he had like a mini conflict with like the with the Koro B yokai that shoots flames, it really wasn't emphasized much. And it didn't have to be because really this episode was more of a character piece. And that's what I'm mostly going to focus on in this review because from a character standpoint, it did phenomenally. Because for one, it did a great job in giving Rollercloth some nice character development. <clears throat> because he meets this girl called Machan. I know her, she has a full name, but I call her Machan because it's adorable. Well, throughout this episode, he interacts with her and he gained. And he starts to appreciate her for her kindness and her sincerity. And I like how you see that bit of character development there. Because in some of the previous Giga Gen no Gitaro episodes, when you see Roller Cloth go after women, it's for their appearance. And I like how in this episode he goes after a woman for her personality. So that was actually really sweet and endearing, and I really found that to be cute. Even though, all, yes, his confession didn't work out, and at the end he was kind of like emotionally knocked out, and then at the final portion, when he sees three beautiful girls and he tries to like already hit off with them instantly. I still like that bit of character growth from Rollercloth. You see him gain a bit more maturity. And he actually gives advice to Macho when it comes to if there's someone you like, you just take a step forward. Because if you don't, because things aren't really pleasant if you're just constantly trying to find ways of avoiding feeling hurt. So I like that message there. Pretty much telling anyone who watches the series that if you want to do something, you gotta like tackle it on because if you don't, you might feel regret. I feel that was the message of this episode in a subtle way. So it has a positive moral message to any viewer watching the series. To kids that because they'll get some funny comedy for adults that will pick apart the messages in this episode. And it's a positive message. Like, this will make the series age roll years later. So that's what I like about this episode. So that's why I thought it felt it did justice to Rollercloth's character. And it had a bit of humor too with Guitaro because when you see how he does, doesn't even understand women. When you see all these these two chicks because uh, Ratman makes like this. Um, like, he makes like this application or program where yokai and humans can mingle and Kitaro's pretty much invited there. And then when this chick's like, wanna go to, wanna go see like this place. And then Kitaro's like, yeah, yeah, you can go. And then you see Daddy Eyeball in the background just cry because of how inconsiderate fucking Kitaro is. And you see Ratman surprised. I was just like, <laughs> And then you see Kachik, oh fucking. With like a calm, relieved expression, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, totally. that is how you do character expression. So I like how, even though Rollercloth was the focus, you had Katara had some spotlight that was hilarious. You had Daddy Eyeball crying because he wants Katara to like interact much, uh, much. He wants his interaction to more to be much, much improved, but it's not improving at all. <laughs> you see him sad. <laughs> Yo, that was great. So, this is more great stuff from Gegege no Gitaro. And on top of that, the catch up moments are cute. Especially when she was pissed, but she didn't do anything like when one of the chicks called Gitaro Kita Chan. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so, a lot of great character moments here around. And that's why I thought it felt great from the character standpoint. And. Also gave Rollercloth an epic moment because he actually took down the Kodobi. Well, not yeah, took him down because Kodobi was then subdued, and then he was he went back into the lantern that he slept in. So the end result of the episode was nice, 
And I'd say for the other stuff, like the visuals, I thought the visuals got the job done. I thought it was decently animated. In some instances, it did look good, like when Rollclaw was in the fire and when he launched water against Kodobi, that was good. And I thought the art was pretty good, actually. Not the most detailed Gekage no Guitar episode, but it didn't have to be. And it was detailed in the moments that didn't involve Rollercloth doing epic stuff. So that's so when it needed to look great, it looked fan fucking tastic. Voice performances are good as always. I love the OST, and that's why I'm a I'm gonna award this episode a nine out of ten because normally I'd give episodes like this an eight out of ten, but because now it spotlighted a character that that wasn't that was. You have to get them out, but now they spotlight Roller Coffee and Warren. I was impressed, so that's why I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Because you can tell Toei, they tried hard and they succeeded. So, anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment down your thoughts on how you feel about my review or the episode itself in the comment section below. Share it, rate it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate um your support and i'll see you guys hopefully next week if i can review it in time i hope i hope that'll be my goal all right y'all have a great and safe day thank you so much for watching bye bye